in odo a purchase order can be created directly but can also be the result of a request for quotation or of a purchase tender so every purchase made in odo has a purchase order so let's see how a purchase order is created in odo 15 so from purchase module you can create a request for quotation by choosing the vendor and setting other details and you can send this quotation as email to the vendor that is we can send the request for quotation to the vendor or we can directly create the purchase order so for most of your everyday purchases chances are you already know what to purchase and at what price so in these cases a simple purchase order will allow you to handle the whole process so without creating a request for quotation we can directly create a purchase order so for that just click on the create button and you can choose a vendor that is vendor from which you have desired to purchase products and here we can set the order deadline so within this date the purchase purchase order have to be confirmed and you can add the vendor reference that is reference of the sale order sent by the vendor then you can choose a purchase agreement so basically in order there are two types of agreement that is we can create call for tender or blanket order so we will discuss about the agreement types in odo 15 later in a separate video and you can set currency for your purchase order so if you have enabled multi currency uh in odo then you can see the spill currency you can choose a currency and set it for your order then you can set a receipt date so this receipt date is a delivery date promised by the vendor so you can set a receipt date so we can expect the arrival of products at this date and we can also send an email automatically to the vendor some days before the expected receipt date and we can ask uh, to confirm the exact date so here we can set the number of days to send the reminder email before the promised receipt date and here we can choose a product that you want to purchase Into the quantity, and here we can do the unit price for each product. Prices are set depending upon the vendor price list. That is, when you open a product, here under purchase tab, you can view the vendor price list. so for this vendor you can see this much price like this way for each vendor you can view the uh, vendor price currency unit of measure and the delivery lead time so here you can see for the vendor azure interior the vendor price is 400 and delivery lead time is 2 days here you can view the unit price and the same way for bed also we can add uh, vendors and set price list and you can also manage vendor price list by coming under configuration and we have done a video on vendor price list in odo 15 so if you have any doubt regarding that video you can check the link above so here it is possible to change the receipt reminder so as i have changed the receipt reminder uh, confirmation days inside the vendor form you can see this automatically updated here so we can set some default details from the vendor form and it will be reflected in uh, a purchase order here under other information uh, you can view the payment term and fiscal position so here we can change uh, that is we can set default value for that so 
let me change it to 21 days and yeah, let me change the fiscal position to one now you can see those values are automatically updated and you can set the purchase representative for this order then you can view the company and here we can view the default operation type set so the operation type is receipt so this is already configured inside the inventory module in odo and here we can also add source document then eco terms that is international commercial terms for your order so we will also discuss about this inco term in a different video then in the same way adding products you can add sections and divide uh, this order line as sections like if you want to add services and if you want to easily identify services in this order you can add section and add product then here we can view some taxes you can see for this product we have set a default vendor tax that is tax 15 percentage so you can see that when you check the product form and the purchase tab you can see vendor tax uh, 15 percentage is already added then you can add notes for this order then you can define your terms and conditions and here on the right side, you can see the untaxed amount, then the tax amount, and the total amount that need to be paid. So after that, you can save this purchase order, and it's also possible to send this uh, send this purchase order as email to the vendor. So here we can view the subject, sorry, the body of this email. Here is an attachment of the quotation. Uh, this with the reference number from the company name so if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact us and here you can also view uh, the pdf of this purchase order it has been attached with this email and now we can make use of this uh, template and send it as an email to the vendor and you can also confirm order directly by clicking on this confirm order. So when you confirm the purchase order, you can see that state uh, RFQ is changed to purchase order. Because before it was request for quotation, then now as we have confirmed the order, you can see it is converted to purchase order. And you can also view the confirmation date. Now we can receive the products or you can click on the receipt. Here you can view the receipt. The product is received from this vendor. Then the destination location is stock. And you can view the schedule date. That is a schedule date uh, to process the shipment. Then the deadline of this order, uh, this transfer and the source document. You can see the purchase reference. And here below, you can find the operations. Uh, that is, you can view the products, the demand, and the total done quantity. And if you have added any packages, that can be viewed. Then you can put these products inside a pack. So you can click on put in pack. But before that, we have to add done quantities to the picking to create a new pack. So for that, you have to click on set quantities. So you can see the quantities are set. Then you can view additional information like shipping information, including carrier details. You can add a carrier. That is here we can add a carrier, shipping providers, and tracking reference. You can view the weight, weight for shipping. And you can add responsible person. Then here we can add notes, internal notes that will be printed on the picking operation sheet. So now we can validate this transfer.
So after validation, you can see automatically we are directed to a reception report. There you can find the allocations, that is reservations. So can we expect a delivery of this product? And here we can also view a related sale order. That is this product uh, were reserved before. So if you want to view the forecasted report, you can just click on this. From there, here, here we can unreserve. So that report can be seen again when you click on this allocation. So this reception report is new in order 50. That can be seen when you enable it from configuration settings. So here, when you go to inventory, configuration settings, You can see the reception report is already enabled. So you can view and allocate reserved quantities. And uh, here you can also enable this option show receipt report at validation. So it will automatically open receipt reception report when a re receipt is validated. So we have seen that before. So this feature is related to inventory management. And we will discuss about that in detail in a separate video. So after receiving the products, when you come back here, we can create bill for the products. Bill can be created uh, before receiving products or after receiving, but that depends upon the vendor bill uh, policy. So here you can see the vendor bill control policy set as on receipt quantities. That is only after receiving the quantities and only for the reserved quantities, receipt quantities, we can create the bill. And you can also set a uh, control policy, bill controls policy for your company uh, from configuration settings. Here you can see by default uh, for the company to set as visit quantities and you can also change this policy that is you can set a specific policy for product and there can be mismatch when creating order in creating bill or receiving uh, products so if there is such mismatches that can be sold by using three-way matching. So this three-way matching is really helpful. It makes sure you only pay bills for which you receive the goods you ordered. And so we'll discuss about three-way matching in a separate video. So now let's go back to our order. So when you click on create bill, draft bill will be created. And you can also manage bills from accounting module. Like when you come under vendors, you can find all the created bills in different status. So here we can see there is one draft bill and we have four posted bills. And after posting a bill, we can uh, that is register the payment if you have done the payment. So you can mention journal payment method uh, total amount, then you can see the payment date, and after that, again, create payment. So, after reconciliation, this will be moved to page state.
and you can also view the general items corresponding to this bill. So that's all about purchase order in Odo 15. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.